If you're like me, you might be looking for a little clarity in the real estate market. And the truth is this is one of the most interesting real estate markets that I've worked in in 13 years. And that's not a play, that's a, that's a very genuine and data-driven response because the difference between a cash and hold investor right now or 40 or 50% down jumbo loan primary residence purchaser or a first time home buyer that only plans to home, have their home for five years, the differences between those three buyers are enormous. And one of them I'd be like, yeah, maybe not. Um, but a couple of them I would be like, yeah, all in, let's go. The big question is, does it make sense to buy or sell right now? And the, the very truthful answer to that is that it completely depends on you. So you just have to pick your poison. If you want to negotiate only with a seller, if you're a buyer and you want to negotiate only with a seller and you can, I would be doing it right now. And then when interest rates come down, yeah, refinance. If, if you can't do that, you can't do that, right? But there's no way to know unless you have a consultation and we find out your truth so that we can find out if this market is right for you. And not everybody can do that, right? Not everybody can act when others don't. But all I'm saying is that it seems, right? We don't know, nobody knows, but it appears that rates are gonna keep going up this year. They will come down at some point and the cognitive dissonance I have with people that are waiting, that could purchase right now, that are waiting, right? Is that they're gonna put themselves in a position where they wait for the interest rates to drop, like everyone else on planet earth and it is going to be a bloodbath all over again with real estate i think the biggest thing to remember is that if you're somebody that's looking to create wealth you have to be paying attention to markets where no one else is acting that is the biggest piece of advice that i could give you all the people that i've worked with who seem to have an amazing portfolio of real estate they act when others don't